Hello everyone, Doc on the Clock with more Maternal Bound Redux. Bigfoot here sells a few things, nothing I would really want. These don't even heal as well as the previous set of items he had. Anyway, we have to go into the Stonehenge uh, cave here. But before we do that, apparently fighting a few more enemies. Because they just have to kind of get in our way. Also, those guys do not seem like they would be very dodgy. <laughs> Didn't you already take our picture here? Or did I somehow miss this one? Uh, the photographer clearly knows better than I do what he wants to do, so uh, go ahead. Maybe we're almost done with him. All right. We did look down here earlier. And now we can use the eraser eraser. Now we, I said, now we can use the eraser eraser. <sighs> touchy, touchy, touchy. And we have the Mook Senior. It's senior to the lesser Mook. <laughs> But we can defeat it all the same. And now that we've done that, I'm going to leave. But just for a moment. Because now the Eraser Eraser, we never need to use it again. So let's get it out of our inventory so that we have some space for the stuff we actually might want in here. One second. All right. Back in action. I did have to fight that Mook Senior again, and he did try to put Joe on ice, but uh, we managed to keep that from being a problem. Uh oh. We have Starman. Oh, he vanished. He ran away, did he? <laughs> this one didn't run away. It's a Starman! It's a relatively iconic enemy of this game. It, uh, fell pretty quickly. <laughs> well, that's going to happen sometimes. You get those smash attacks. And pretty quickly take out enemies. Ow! 412 damage is way too much. PK free is beta does not typically do that much damage. Oh, hey, we can get in first and Starman. And it insta wins us. Those mooks are trying to hurt me. It's not fun when they try to hurt me. Okay, that at least targeted the person that has ice resistance right now. <laughs> a 
Only a 25% chance of that happening. That's happened only one out of four times, I think, so, uh... It makes sense. Give myself a little bolt of healing right there. Alright. So basically, my uh, goal is to figure out where I need to go here. This place is slightly mazy to start with. It doesn't stay that way. Excuse me, that should have been behind you. Ah, well, he was, uh, he was polite enough to go last anyway. Nice, we got another level. Pretty, I think that, yeah, that was a power level up, too. 64, it's a, uh, division, div ah, divisible by four level. It's also four to the third. Made those level, 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 made those level ups look pretty puny too. Oh, and that just takes us back to that room. So we probably respawned some enemies. I mean, technically, yeah, but uh, not as bad as it could have been. Double smash! That's gotta hurt. I'd say we're probably just a mildly bit overleveled. But I'll take it. Ooh, also, uh, Psy Shield Omega. That is a really useful one. That covers everyone with the Psychic Power Shield. would be useful against, say, the Mook Senior. It'd also be incredibly wasteful for, of my PP, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. Ow! I don't like how their freeze attack does more damage than my freeze attack usually does. Also, that guy looks like he has issues. It's the atomic power robot. Oh, that's right. These guys do that. Oh, that's right. They also do that. I thought I remembered hating these guys. I now remember why. Butterfly. <laughs> so yeah, atomic power robots are kind of problematic. Oh, is that way? Is that uh, just kind of very accidentally ambushed a star man there? And up here, it's a Guts Capsule. Which is very quickly going to be consumed.
I am surprised I didn't get an ambush there. Let's hit you with a uh, bolt of freeze. Why not? Oh, shield omega. That's also good. That covers everyone in a physical power shield. Almost got ambushed there. That would have been bad. Uh, I don't know how bad it would have been. It's this guy is more of an annoyance than a real threat, but still. Uh, let's see if freeze works. That, uh, that works pretty well, I'd say. Put him on ice! That's the solution to, like, 90% of the stuff in this game. PK Free is particularly useful. Also useful for my enemy- oh god, no. Okay, I definitely can't let that be a problem, so, uh, looks like I'm going to have to leave. Lovely. Just what I wanted. We're gonna get rid of this guy first, though. Or get just, you know, burned to ashes. Okay. I will meet you back here once I have taken care of the homesickness. Actually, this is a good time to use the exit mouse. Brings us right out to the start. And where I can immediately get ambushed by a bear. But you know what, bear? You're getting the full-on treatment. Overkill. Also, it didn't do even more than the gamma one to that. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, I am back here. Took me a few battles, but I did manage to get through relatively safely. Best thing I can do is keep ambushing these guys, or I can get ambushed. <laughs> Yeah, those guys can heal others, too. And you do not want to attack them first! Because, in case you forgot, they explode. And that explosion damage only really is uh, blunted by them being the last one... the last enemy on the screen. So, yeah, you have to just put up with them potentially healing everyone while you're trying to knock the kingdom come. Yeah, unpleasant enemy to deal with, but uh, it is what it is. Just gotta do it. 
Oh, hey. An item. I was not expecting that. Okay, got him first. That I am glad for. Take this guy out as quickly as possible. And then hit you with ice. Okay, I only need one bolt of ice here. So you're pretty weak to it. I do a little bit of uh, healing here. Which way do we want to go here? Doesn't matter. Yeah. That was. I thought I could get away from that. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, got him behind. Oh, dang it, I did want to go up there. Ah, it's- you can't tell! It's too hard to see things. Well, my levels are gonna be relatively high, that's for sure. And I need a little bit of recovery here. Here, you can handle yourself. Also, I did not need beta for that. Like Joe going after Joe's PP. You're starting to get annoying. There we go. Don't you ah. There's a reason I don't like these guys. There are several reasons I don't like these guys. So they are very routinely exploding on my least uh, durable party members. I don't like that either. Nope. I'll take them one move to avoid worse than that.
Alright, finally we get to go onward. Oh, and this is an important onward. This is the Superstar Man! The Superstar Man is incredibly important! Why? Because it has the only weapon for you in the entire game. And it has it at a very hard to find rate. So we're going to be in here for a little while. Oh, good lord. You're gonna do that to me? Okay. We have to take these guys on first. Oh, and they have a... Uh, they, by the way, they have a psychic power shield. Don't use PS PK attacks against them. You will regret it. Very severely. <laughs> okay. So, the uh, Superstarmen have a, uh, the ability to find the uh, Sword of Kings at a rate of 1 in 128. That's uncommon. And you can very easily uh, overdo it with the leveling in this. Like, I'm at a... I'm kind of a little bit overleveled as it is, but uh, farming for this, I could go way too high. So I'm going to... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop down a save here, and I'm going to make sure that I don't go over level 75. If I do that, I will uh, reload and try again until I get it. And I'm just going to farm the Starmen until I get that. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but uh, yeah, I want that weapon. It's the only one I'm going to get for you, so I might as well. Alright, so that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.